Hello and welcome on in, I'm the Casual Hoy, and this is my attempt at the Magoo Bear Shell Challenge. First thing that we have to do is create the shell itself. You should design the challenge with Sims 4 in mind. However, I play Sims 3. I have adapt it only slightly here. I'm going to put two different rooms here at the bottom. One is going to be a study. The other one is going to be a bathroom. We're going to go with an elevated floor here in the main hallway. And then, you know, I want a rustic feel. I need brown everywhere. We're going to have to have some wood wallpaper. That is right. Wood everywhere. Front door. Love the double front door. Auto roof looks pretty good. We're going to use that for later. Here's the matching floor. Does this muzzle look right to you guys? How about the eyes? What do we need for eyes? Poker tables aren't practical. We're going to need the dining room tables. Those look very nice. Then what are we thinking for the ears? I think I want to try bedroom for the ears. That way we can put the bed here, we can make the sheets pink, that's the pink of the ears. Now we're going to move on to the kitchen, and one of the good things about designing The Sims 3 is that you can mix and match however you choose. I can take the wood from here, put it in the kitchen so we can have wood, wood, wood everywhere. A wooden stove, wooden refrigerator, you want it, we can do it. Does this muzzle look right to you? Let's move it up. Save your game. Always remember to save your game. We'll have a grand piano right here for the nose. Need to move the platform along a little bit for it. Skinny little rug right here for the mouth. It's all starting to come together as you can see from the overhead here. We are taking this Magoo bear shell quite literally for this build. Save your game. Please save your game. Now this challenge is a bit much for me to tackle in just one stream, so we're continuing it the next week here. And I think the first thing that we need to work on here today is the bathroom. Of course, we're keeping with the wood theme, so we need wood paneling. Maybe a little bit bigger here on the walls. Oh, what? Hold on a sec. What's this? What? What? Oh, I'm quite sorry about that. That was just a quick musical interlude that I do. It was around Valentine's Day. I had to sing a little bit of Queen. You know how it goes sometimes. Continuing more wood. Of course, there's wood everywhere. We want to try to put wood everywhere we can. Maybe we'll skip the wooden toilet paper, though. That doesn't sound like it'll be such a good idea. There'll be a couple of twin doors for the study and the bathroom. And then the, the computer. What do we do for this computer? I just can't seem to find one that matches here. What about right here? Do we need a picture? Do we need a window? We need a window. Windows everywhere, in fact. Window bonanza. How about the bedroom? What do we need here? A picture? Maybe a picture? Save your game. Please save your game. I know, gnomes. I have a friend, a gnome of invention. Beautiful pictures. Let's put those right here. This is what I want to call my cozy corner. I love this wheel bench. We put the wheel bench everywhere. Right across the room is going to be our music center and the bar area. Let's go over the menu. Try to make sure we've got every little odd and end. How about plants? Gotta have some plants. And curtains. Oh, which curtains can we put here? Stroke of genius. We need whites for the eyes. Let's add a carpet right here for that. A few little details still to go in the kitchen. We'll add some CDs right here by the music room. The mud room. Mwah. Next, we're going to get to some proper lighting for the interior. It can be a tad bit intimidating trying to get proper lighting for your Sims games. You can even see me enter in the cheat in case I need to get some invisible lights, but I'm proud to say that it's all practical for this particular build today. Let's use some of these bay windows to mimic some proper gold earrings in each of the bedrooms here. Save your game. Please save your game. We're going to finally get back to the roof. The auto roof looked excellent, so I'm going to use that as my guide moving forward here. Just eliminate some of the ones that look a little funky, add in my own touches here and there. Nose definitely needs to be pointier though, doesn't it? How about some trees for paws, and some dirt for that tuft of hair right here. Little telescope right here with some flowers in the backyard, but what else do we put? It needs something. Hair? Nah, the hair isn't looking good. How about a gazebo? That'll fill in this empty space quite nicely. Save your game. Always remember to save your game. 
We can add in an outdoor grill and a couple of benches to fill it out. Maybe a lone bush in the back here. We still need a little bit of lighting here for the outside. Don't forget to do the nostril here, Hoy. And yeah, I think we're done. How's it look? 